You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. We have uh, the, the, thing, the, the major report today uh, is that we're looking at the evil genius of Tribulation Trump. Now, I made a statement last night regarding the fact he has become lawless, he's corrupt, and everybody knows that there's never been anybody that's corrupt in him in any government at anywhere at any time. Even a maniacal people like Hitler, at least they were not corrupt. They were just bent on one particular idea of war and extinction of a race of people, but they weren't necessarily old, uber corrupt the way uh, Tribulation Trump is. And so we, we've, we've gone ahead and we'll talk more about the fact that the Tribulation itself has been assigned to him. And, and as corrupt, not as corrupt, but as, as a f- phenomenon as the tribulation, so, so is Trump. But I think it's also important that we understand that what is happening right now is that w- where Trump is expressing his most draconian, if you will, corruptness by denying any kind of subpoena or any request for documents of information before the third branch or, or the first branch of the government, congressional legislative branch, in court on yesterday before the Supreme Court Justice Federal Court stating on yesterday that the legislative branch, they have no right to investigate the president. Now we understand that there's an an order, not necessarily a law, that the uh, Mueller report and special counsel or special investigator cannot indict a sitting president, but Congress can. But now the lawyers for, for tribulation Trump are arguing that a a sitting president cannot be investigated by Congress. So if he can't be indicted by by the FBI or by the Attorney General, if he can't be investigated by Congress, that means that essentially that the President of the United States is above the law. And that's exactly where Trump is now placing himself as the imperialistic monarchy that is above the law. And probably going to get away with it. He's probably going to get away with it the same way Obama got away with making same-sex marriage a constitutional law and anybody who's, a, and nobody, so he, he's probably gonna, so we call this the evil genius of tribulation Trump. The lawless, corrupt, degenerate, but he is succeeding. He is succeeding. And there's no denying that. And so there must be some sense of genius about it. But I think that what has really gotten his feathers, gotten him going more recently is the Mueller report. The, 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 you know, Attorney General Barr, William Barr, has stated in a four-page announcement on April the 24th on at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon that they found that the, the, Barr, the Mueller report found no collusion and, and while the it did not indict on any crimes. It could not completely exonerate Trump on the whole idea of whether or not there was obstruction of justice in that four-page report. And when that hit, it made everybody think that there was nothing that Trump did wrong. But a closer reading of the 448 pages of the Mueller report is a slam dunk guilty verdict by Robert Mueller that Trump is as guilty as sin. And the reason why they didn't find him guilty of collusion because at that point, it would have to be an admission that that Russia put Trump into office and therefore his presidency is invalid. So they, they, they waived that. But as far as the obstruction of justice, there are at least eight other counts of obstruction of justice that he could have been indicted on. But Mueller allegedly did not have the power to do that. Uh, so he passed the matter on to Congress. But Bill Barr short stopped it and said there was nothing there. So Gerald Nadler and Adam Schiff and others in the Congress now where they have the majority are asking for the full report and they want to interview people like Don McGahn, who Trump told to lie on two occasions or maybe more, and Robert Mueller himself to get his voice on record as to what, but that Mueller report, my brothers and my sisters, I haven't read it completely, maybe you haven't, but I can tell you, that Mueller report, that thing has got Trump jumping up and down like nothing else. I mean, Stormy Daniels couldn't get Trump to jump the way he's jumping up and down now to keep this thing from being seen in the light of day. But the Mueller report is a 448 page guilty verdict that Trump is as guilty as sin. And by the way, you know, everybody knows that Trump is guilty. I mean, who, I mean, who is it that doesn't know 
that Trump is guilty. But I have, you know, I have a, I, I, I'm going to get to the wag the dog a minute, in, in just a minute, where Trump is uh, now allowing John Bolton to get him involved in the, uh, the whole matter of the war with Iran. But let me get back to the fact that, I, I, you know, I have this, this prognostic, I have this prognostic that I don't, know we're, I don't know if Trump will make it to see 2020 in terms of January 1, New Year. I don't know if he will. I don't know if he will. One is, is that his evil genius, his evil genius, and because, see, power corrupts. You've heard that, right? And absolute power corrupts absolutely. And one hears that proverb with the sense that once you get power, you become corrupt, and, and absolute power corrupts you absolutely. But I think what the proverbial writer also wanted to include in that is that once you become absolutely powerful, that you become absolutely maniacal and suicidal. Let's look at a person like Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston. I mean, some of the best voices in terms of pop or rock and roll soul music of the last 100 years was between those two people, Whitney Houston, who had a voice like, I mean, and, and Michael Jackson, who was the most talented person I think anybody's ever seen anywhere at any time. But that kind of musical power left him corrupt, and both of them committed suicide. So I think that it's important that power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. So I think that tr tr the evil genius of Trump, and it is an evil genius, I watch him, and I watch carefully. And what he is doing is genius. And he's succeeding. I mean, he's, he's succeeding. Uh, and he takes messages from, I don't care how brave, you could be Rex Tillerson, you could be his Secretary of Defense Mattis, you could be, you, you could be, you know, Don Kelly, it doesn't matter what your st stature and structure is, a level of information you may know about in there. Trump says he's smarter than all of them, and in a sense he is. It, though it is an evil wisdom, he is smarter than all of them, and, he, and he's never going to bow down to somebody, no matter how brilliant you may be from any other locale his evil genius. But I think that's, that's going to be the very thing, the evil genius of Trump is going to be the very thing that's going to cause him to commit suicide. Because he's going to wake up one day and, and just want to leave. Trump is such a despicable degenerate, he'll commit suicide just to deny the people an opportunity to beat him in 2020 election. I mean, that's how... That's how the, he, he, that's how demonic he is. Trump will commit suicide just to deny the world the opportunity to see the results of the 2020 election or the results of the 48-page guilty report written by Robert Mueller. He's a genius, but an evil one. And I, you know, I'll talk more about the fact that why is that so? And why did God name him Tribulation? In one respect, like the proverb, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely, it has to be seen from both edges of the sword. One is that you got power, you can do what you want to do, but the other is that it all, that power also corrupts you, like Whitney Houston, like Michael uh, 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 Jackson. That power corrupts you. And that power has, co well, the corruption of tribulation Trump is that he'll commit suicide. That they and 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 think that that will be the ultimate win. Are you listening to me? This evil genius, Tribulation Trump, will commit suicide. And by the way, that's what happened to Judas. Remember, Judas really thought he was smarter than all the other disciples. He thought he was a, you know, and he thought he knew better about the future of religion. He thought he knew better, and he thought that it would be probably a good thing to get rid of Jesus, and if you get rid of Jesus, that he could probably then at that point cut a deal with the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin and become a leader himself, Judas did. So he told Judas, the people where to pick up Jesus, hoping that they would put him in power. They didn't. And when the Sanhedrin did not put Judas in power, he realized they had taken the power of God, power of Jesus, and he committed suicide. Power corrupts 
Absolute power corrupts absolutely. So the evil genius of tribulation Trump, I suspect, I don't know that he will, I don't know that if the world makes it to January, to January 1, 2020, that Trump will be here. And he will take great delight in committing suicide. All right, so here, so what about this 448 page indictment? Uh, I mean, guilty verdict. It's a guilty verdict. Trump is guilty of obstruction of justice. We don't need a phone. Who needs to read the report? We saw it play out on television over the last couple of years. We saw him fire James Comey. We've seen the rhetoric. We've, we've seen the things that he's done. We've seen how he's, uh, you, you know, we know he's guilty. We saw what he did with Sally Yates. We've seen what he's done with Hope Hicks. We saw what he did with the Don Jr. And the, and the Trump Tower meeting. We've seen what he's done with Paul Manafort, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks. We've seen what he's done with Lavrov and Kislyak in the Oval Office after firing James Comey. <laughs> We've seen, we, we don't need a, who needs to read a report? He's guilty. He knows he's guilty. But he still believes that the system can take him down. And so he's doing everything. And he's found some wretched Japheth white people like Bill Barr and others. I think Lindsey Graham is going to, I think Lindsey Graham is going to have a coronary. I'll get to that too. Because Lindsey Graham stepped out and said Don Jr. should not testify, and then Don Jr. said, I'm going to testify. That makes that boy look like a South Carolina alligator fool. That makes Lindsey Graham look like a South Carolina fool. I don't think he'll ever recover from that. He might as well retire and go fishing in the, in the Florida Keys somewhere. Lindsey Graham. But no, we all know that Trump is guilty of obstruction of government. We all know that he's guilty of a whole lot of other things as well. And the Mueller report lays it out. And, but he doesn't want... He doesn't want Don McGahn and Robert Mueller before television cameras of the world because most people don't read, right? And they ain't not read that 448-page report, but they, don't, they will watch that television senator and they'll watch Don McGahn say, yes, Trump told me to lie. Yes, Trump told me to fire Robert Mueller. And I told Trump I'm not going to do it. And then when it became reported by the New York Times that it was discovered that Trump told Don McGahn to fire Robert Mueller and Robert Mueller said he won't do it, then Trump came back and told him to say it's a lie. Say, I didn't tell you. And Don McGahn said, but you did tell me to fire Robert Mueller. So he asked him to lie twice and to fire Robert Mueller twice as well. Seeing that on television is going to be a blockbuster and Don McGahn is going to drop the bomb on him. No, Don's going to drop it on him if they don't drop something on Don, Don first. And, and, that, and then Robert Mueller, have him testify. What did you find? What were your thoughts about this? Why did you think? There have been now over 800 federal, former federal prosecutors who've stood in courtrooms across America over a span of 50 years and have prosecuted people on federal charges and getting a 96% conviction rate. These 800 federal prosecutors are now saying that Trump is guilty of at least five plainly seen acts of obstruction of justice. 800 federal, for, former federal prosecutors have determined that Trump is guilty, and he is. So the Mueller report is a guilty verdict that's 448 pages long. And I think that's what we need to look at. So what is Trump doing now? Now that that is happening, we got a phenomenon here, and I'm a little, you know, back in the 1900s, you know, Wag the Dog came out in 1997. Wag the Dog was a, a, a Barry Levinson promotion starring Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro, De Niro where the, the president created a crisis that was nothing more than a smoke screen uh, to cover up his, uh, his issues with uh, a, a, a sexual investigation into his, his presidency. So in order to get the news people off his trail and have something else making the headlines, he started a, a phony war. And it was a program, a, a movie rather, Barry Levinson put together and Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro were the main protractors in that movie. And shortly after the movie came out, Bill Clinton, who was being heavily investigated by Ken Starr with Monica Lewinsky in the blue dress and the Oval Office and all that kind of stuff going on, and so when it got real hot and heavy and the blue, the blue dress had been discovered with the semen stain, Bill Clinton fired some rockets into Sudan and allegedly some sort of chemical plant 
that was dealt with at the time, but they weren't called ISIS or they weren't called Al Qaeda, but Muslims that were threatening the well-being of, of the Palestinian or the I mean the Jewish state and also America. So Bill Clinton had uh, some warships fire some rockets into Sudan, and, and and the news sparked up that that was what was going on. But everybody likened that process to the Barry Levinson movie of Wag the Dog. And so it was, and, and, and so Bill Clinton will be ever be known as the first one to wag the dog uh, to try to keep the news people from investigating what's really going on in the life of Bill Clinton. Now what Tribulation Trump has done is that Tribulation Trump has allowed John Bolton to do a couple of things. One is, Tribulation Trump has allowed John Bolton to, uh, to start a, um, a, a coup down in, in Venezuela. The the coup that, that started by Guaido against Maduro in Venezuela was to take the, the attention away from the Mueller report, the attention away from uh, what was happening in Washington, D.C., and focus on potentially a war going on in Venezuela with the ouster of Maduro and Guaido becoming the president. But Vladimir Putin put a stop to that, dead cold. Now what Trump is doing is that he's picking a fight with Iran. And let me read you the report of what's going on now with, with uh, the um, with the forces that uh, with, with this war. Trump is Trump is picking a fight, and he's starting a war with Iran. It says that the, the frustrated GOP senators want answers from Trump on Iran. Pr frustrated senators. Um, uh, say the Trump administration has largely kept them in the dark about a possible military confrontation with Iran. What GOP lawmakers already know, however, uh, has them on edge. Trump has deployed an aircraft carrier strike group, a Patriot missile defense battery, and an Air Force bomber task force to the Middle East, while the Senate State Department has ordered a a partial evacuation of the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad and also in Basra, too, I understand. And few legislators have received briefings, but many can only guess at the extent of the threat and where a ramped up in combat forces may lead. And I quote, I don't think it's fair for us to walk around wondering, said Senator Lindsey McGram, Lindsey McGram, <laughs> one of the Senate's leading voices on the global security issue. In other words, so what Trump is doing is that if he can pick a fight and start a war with Iran, we'll forget about the Mueller report. We'll forget about he's, the fact he's guilty as sin. We'll forget about it if he can do that. I don't think he's going to succeed at that. But I got also a, a late breaking note here about, Clint, about uh, Trump and John Bolton that things are not going so well because the, the coup in Venezuela failed. John Bolton is a hawk, interventionist, interventionist rather, loves war. John Bolton is the one that talked George Bush into attacking uh, Saddam Hussein over there in, a, in, in Iraq years ago. This boy loves war. I mean, he loves war. He's a freak. Anyway, look at this. The clash of President Trump is not thrilled with the national security advisor John Bolton's aggressive warlike planning for a potential military confrontation with Iran, not just Iran. The Bolton's intervention stance on American power also just earned Trump's ire after the failure of the U.S.-backed effort to oust Venezuela President Nicolas Maduro. So, since the report goes on, my colleagues reported last week that Trump complained he was misled and said Bolton wants uh, to get him into a war, a comment that he has made in jest in the past, but now betrays his own serious concerns. So, yeah, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff going on, right? Everything going on, including the rent. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places, for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting, rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro, or Anderson Cooper, or Rachel Maydow, or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly, sinful view. But the man who 
will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.